We've not had a video for some time, uh, but right now we live in exciting times because what we have here in the workshop, as you may see, is all of the materials necessary to convert a van into a camper van. Here we have all of the electrical materials, uh, we've got lots of cladding and stuff, um, stretch carpet, got some insulation here, and we've got boards of various types to make the furniture with. Now what this means is I've bought a new van and this time it's a long wheelbase uh, 2015 uh, Vauxhall Vivaro. This is it. It looks like a really nice van. I've driven it a few hundred miles so far um, from the place I picked it up. And it all looks very clean and nice. Having said clean and nice, I've already taken the uh, old plywood out and I've taken the bulkhead out. But what we have here on the floor is quite a bit of crud, um, which has just surfaced dirt. I'll be able to clean that off. And then what I'm going to do is take exact dimensions of the van and draw a plan. Okay, so we've got the hot soapy water, we've got the degreaser, we've got some rags and sponges, a little brush. I'm going to start with these panels actually, I'll start from the top and work my way right the way down, clean the whole thing up. Here we go. I've put some of this degreaser on this part of the floor, just where the uh, main bits of crude are and I've let that soak in for a little while so I think this should with a bit of luck come up quite easily let's just take a look yeah that's no problem look at that and under there we should have a nice clean floor I think the main reason to do this well one is dirty but the other reason is we're going to put um, a sticky backed uh, close cell foam insulation down on the floor. We want to make sure that all of the grease and all of the dirt and everything like that is off before we do that. So this may take a couple of washes actually. Uh, but as you can see, that's coming up very nicely there. So there we are, a couple of buckets of soapy water later and the floor is looking much, much better. Although I did notice um, whilst doing this, there are a couple, not much, but a couple of these little blisters which may corrode. So I'm going to get some uh, sandpaper and just sand them down and give them a coat with a hammerite before we put the insulation down on the floor. But the rest of it has come up very nicely, I think. Look at that. I was thinking just to get straight on with it and without um, before putting the paint on the floor um, it may not be a bad idea to put this um, sound deadening material on. So we're going to open up the box, see what's in there and then stick it to the panels on the inside of the van. And then if I do the, uh, those patches on the floor last thing it'll have overnight to dry without me standing in it. Now what we've got. That's it. Uh, sticky backed. I believe this is just cut to size and stuck on the panels. So let's get on with that. Now we do have a couple of windows going in here. One in this front panel here and one in the sliding door panel. So the other panels, these side panels and the lower panels, back door panels, will stick some of this mat on. So I'm going to cut a piece right there. I don't think it has to cover the whole panel. It's just to give it a little bit of um, acoustic absorption so that the thing isn't rattling about all the time. The panels. I 
and obviously beyond this we'll have the insulation. This seems like good stuff. This is um, Dodo, I believe it's uh, is the name of it. Uh, Dodo mat. Um, again, I'm, I'm not sponsored by these or anything like that, but uh, just on first impressions, that seems like good stuff. So there it is. We have the um, sound deadening on the uh, Dodo, not Dodo, <laughs> Dodo. <laughs> the Dodo mat is in place. That's good. Now what I'm going to do is take this panel off this door and I'm going to take the panels off the back doors. I just want to see if this has got any um, sound deadening underneath it. And what I'll probably end up doing is carpeting these panels when they go back on. I'm not going to carpet the whole van. This again. Getting into the design stage of this. I'm thinking that I'll carpet the ribs and do insert panels. Um, that's sort of in my mind right now. This may develop, obviously. Um, but I didn't want to carpet the whole thing with, you know, carpet panels and everything. It's um, it would be a bit much, I think. But certainly the ribs uh, along the top and these central columns, this, this type of thing, um, we'll probably carpet them. And then, as I say, put the paneling in here to meet the carpet of, of a contrasting nature. Uh, this is yet to be decided, but for now, take this panel off. Well, the back panels on the door came off easy enough. This was just a matter of, there's a small bolt in there, a Torx bolt, uh, which holds the handle on. And on the other one, it just popped off, so that seems absolutely okay. And they are going to get really well padded with insulation before they go back on. Had a difficulty with the sliding door insofar as I'm not sure how to get the handle off. So um, this is a YouTube video so I'm going to watch a YouTube video. Hopefully someone will have one up saying how to get the handle off the door and I'll get back to you. Okay so now for the um, just handling these little spots where the paint's come off. I don't think it's actually corroded but the, um, the paint has come off in a couple of places so what we're going to do we've got some white Hammerite, it says it can be applied direct to rust, but I have a little piece of sandpaper just to smooth that off and take anything off before I apply the Hammerite. What I think I'll do as well, there's a few screw holes here um, where the old floor has been in place. And with this little brush, I should be able to get in there and just protect that for the future, you know. Um, so that's what we're going to do right now. There you go, that's looking good. I should have brought a cloth. I'll go and get one in a moment. But just to show you that what I'm doing here is I've got that bed. Now I'm gonna get a good dollop of this hammerite and stick that over there. That will protect that. And as I say, these holes, these small holes, what I'm going to do with them is just give them a good dab of that stuff. I'll see how that turns out. I may come back and silicone that as well. I think that would be overkill, quite honestly. Um, that looks like it'll be okay. Um, take any lips off it. So we're going to go over the whole van here um, and do all these little marks. I'm saying all these little marks, there's probably about half a dozen of them. So it's not a major thing, but just belt and braces so that this doesn't start eating away at anything in the future. Okay, so that's all I'm done. Uh, all the little screw holes have been um, hammerated over. There's not that many actually, there was only about half a dozen, uh, some more up the back. But this looks good so far. We've got the sound deadening on. Uh, we've got any little bits of rust taken care of. Um, the very next thing that we're going to do here is put the floor in. Now, the floor, I've got same type of closed cell foam insulation, which is sticked down to the floor. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that um, when I get round to it. And then I've got a 11mm um, OSB board for the floor. 
And on top of that, we will have the laminate flooring. Um, I've kept all the old wood that came out of here as a template. Uh, always a good thing to do. <clears throat> so we've got that here. This is the old floor, the old plywood floor. And we'll use that as a template. It's cut out around the wheel arches. It was a pretty good fit. So hopefully we'll get this OSB in there without too much trouble. So back to this handle on the door, on the back door here. Um, I found a YouTube video which says that there's a small clip in there. I don't know if you can see it. This here. And that apparently has to be lifted up, if possible, like so. And then the handle should slide off. And there it is. But I've lost the clip. It hadn't gone far. There it is. That clip goes over this gnarled thing. And that's it. Now the door should come off. Sorry, the panel should come off the door. So the only other thing to come off here is this um, the lock mechanism. And that just pulls off. It just sort of pushes on and pulls back off. So now a door, which isn't terribly well fixed to begin with, should simply come off. There it is. And it has some sort of barrier on here, which I think I will take off because I want to insulate behind this door. So this will have to go. So I'm going to use this uh, knife just to score round. Some of this is coming off just by pulling, but some of it needs a little help as well. So I'm just going to very carefully, he says, see if we can cut this out with the knife. So that's the door sorted out. Now, the main task for right now is to get the floor down in here, but we want to insulate this first. Actually, um, when I say we want to insulate it first, obviously we want to insulate it before putting the floor down. But I'm going to cut and make the floor before I do the insulation. Um, otherwise, if we put the insulation down and we're taking the boards in and out, that might very well damage the insulation. So we'll cut the boards to shape first and then do the insulation. Now, obviously, when we do come to screw the floor down, we want to screw it into these ribs. And we want to know where the ribs are underneath the boards so I have some black tape here and I'm just going to mark four of them along the front of the van here so that when the board's down I'll know exactly where the ribs are and then I'll draw a line right the way through the van to keep the screws hitting the ribs and not going through into the floor okay so they are all uh, marked up so we know where we're putting the screw holes and we're back into the workshop and here we have the old template of the floor, uh, the looks like 9mm ply which came out of it. And we're going to replace that with this new 11mm uh, OSB. So first things first, we're going to cut that to shape. This is all marked out uh, from the old floor template. And I've got the jigsaw ready, fresh blade in there. And we're just going to cut these patches out. I hope we can get it in one, this is quite a heavy board to get in and out of the van, but uh, the template was a good fit to begin with, so... Okay, I've just offered it up, and it's not a bad fit, it's pretty good, but there is a discrepancy. And it's this panel here. So I'm going to take that off and use that as the actual template to cut in this line here and then should fit perfectly. It seems to be fixed by a number of these little uh, Torx bolts. So with the right sort of fitting on the driver, it should come out easily. There it is. Ah, a little bit more cleaning required. So I've put the board back into place and what I'm gonna do is just line this up with the holes, the screw holes underneath it, so we know it's in the right place, which is about there. 
that's about it. If it stops moving, we'll be good. That's it there. And now I'm just going to draw around that. And this will be the new cutting line. There we go. Now hopefully I'll just be able to cut this over the back of the van instead of dragging this board back into the workshop. Okay, so that first part of the floor looks pretty good. Uh, we'll need another strip of this next uh, OSB board. And to do that, unfortunately, I don't have a plunge saw and the workshop isn't big enough to slide the eight foot sheet through the um, table saw so what we've got here i've just screwed a piece of um, old cladding onto the usb and i'm going to cut that down with a circular saw we want two pieces for this one's for the other side and then there's a shorter piece that goes up towards the cab so i'm going to do both those cuts now then we'll do the templating and see how it all looks Okay, so we've got all the boards cut at this point and laid into position and everything's looking good. This back strip will fit back on and clean that up as well. But there's a slight consideration around the front here. I think this step, this just wants to be cut a little bit further back, I think. The, the curvature of the step is here. So I'm seeing that one's cutting back to there, and then cutting square. And then we're ready for insulation. So here we have the uh, closed cell foam, which we're going to put on the floor. Um, it's foil backed, and on the other side, it's sticky backed. And the idea is it just goes down on the floor. Now I'm going to cut it in a meter lengths, because handling it on this whole roll is going to be a little bit difficult, I think. So I'm going to cut it into a one meter length, take that in the van and see how we get it down. I think the main thing is to make sure that you get it into the ribs of the van. So I've got various tools, bits of wood and stuff to push it down into those ribs. Uh, but first, uh, but first a sharp Stanley knife. I'm gonna cut a meter off there. So we're just gonna shape this first uh, with Stanley knife into the corner there. Put it reasonably square to the van. And then take this piece off. That's all good. Now, I have this old wooden screwdriver. And the idea is to push that in there once we've taken this sticky off the back. Now again, taking the sticky off the back. We're not going to do that in one go. We're going to take a little bit off this side, get that down, and then peel it from underneath. I think this will be the best way to go. So, we'll probably take about a foot, about 30 centimetres of that off to begin with. Yeah, the seagulls agree. And we're going to keep that up. So this will be pretty sticky, I think. And put it in the place there. That's all good. Now I think we screwed up underneath it. So we want to push that down to the ribs. It's all looking pretty good. 
So now I'll cut this piece, which is a little bit oversized because we're going to have to take into account the ribs. And it's the same procedure with this. We're going to peel just a little bit of it off the back, maybe about, again, about 30 centimeters. Now this piece I've cut to fit the between the wheel arches and we'll fill these bits in and then once that's all done we'll silver tape all of the joints up with uh, with silver tape but this one is going in here first now with a little more work here we've managed to finish off the floor insulation i've taped all this up and that's all looking good there was a couple of things just um, for anyone who's doing a van the same as this um, there's a couple of voids here where there are no ribs what i've done with that is i've put a piece of cladding in which is about the same height as the ribs so i've screwed the cladding to the floor and then put the um insulation over the top of it the only part where i couldn't do that was at the door uh, so i have the wood the cladding the riser so to speak um, on top of the foam and i'm sure that'll be okay that's screwed through nice and tight so my next task here is to get the wooden floor actually screwed in but there was a just a point on materials here this is what's left of the insulation now that was a five meter square roll uh, five meters by one meter so therefore any again anyone doing a similar type of van the uh, long wheelbase vavaro or the traffic or the nissan alternative one five meter roll will do the floor uh, the wheel arches didn't quite make it so i'm going to get some different type of material for them and we'll probably end up carpeting them anyhow but just so one five meter roll will do the entirety of the floor right let's get that wood in okay so the boards are now placed in in position and i have this piece of cladding just to measure and mark the line where the ribs are so I'm gonna get on with that I'm gonna mark those lines out and then we've got the drill we've got some three mil drill bits and we've got some self tapping screws which are gonna go through the floor and into the van and then the floor is secure so putting these down is a matter of screwing through into the uh, lid We had two drills this would be much easier and i'm having to keep changing from drill to screw bit but that's okay there we go excellent nice and secure now we're going to continue this down all of these lines right the way through the whole thing of the van so that's the first major job uh, completed and this is the subfloor so as you can see i put these screws in um, sort of countersunk the countersink themselves actually and that floor is well screwed down and that insulation seemed really good um, I think it was 10 mil 10 mil thick uh, closed cell foam looked good so at this point it's time for a cup of coffee I think um, and that's probably it for this video uh, in the next video what we're going to do is i've got more idea of a plan of how this van is going to look and what components i'm going to put into it so we'll go over those in the next video and the very next major thing that we're going to do is put the windows in always a bit trepidatious but must be done so i hope the video has been helpful for anyone who is looking at uh, converting a van like this themselves um, if you would like to follow the whole series do subscribe to the channel Give the video a like, it's all good.